Chris Fazakli and the NGU group, how to protect against rogue tenants. 15 points, point one, Anna. Design a data capture form so you don't forget asking your tenant for all the information you need. Brilliant, make sure you've got a data capture form because if you take a call ad hoc, I guarantee you'll forget to ask some other questions. Mike, point two. Affordability. Um, we ask for 35 times the rent for professional tenants or we ask for a guarantor or a minimum of £15,000 per annum. Brilliant. Figures don't lie. Can they actually afford the property? Make sure you've got your set criteria. Point three, James. Local housing allowance tenants. Make sure your tenant qualifies for the right bedroom rate. Brilliant. Very good one. So, bedroom rates. Shared accommodation. One bedroom rate, two bedroom rate, three bedroom rate, four bedroom rate. If somebody's under 35, then they'll get a shared accommodation if they're on their own. So if you put someone under 35 in a one bedroom flat and they're on LHA, they're not gonna get the um, benefits that you need. So, next point, Aaron. Local housing allowance tenants. Make sure that you are clear on how much the tenant can top up um, with their rent if they are on benefits. That's key. So say if your um, housing benefits is 495 and you rent 600 quid, do you want to get the tenant to top up by £100? Think about your contribution. Katie. Credit check all tenants. That's key. Sounds a simple one, but make sure you do a credit check. Make sure you're fully aware of the credit history of your tenant. Annalise. Landlord references must be written, not verbal. Brilliant. Now, it's key that you get it so it's in a written format. It's a lot easier for a landlord just to tell a half-truth. If you've got to put it in writing, put the name to it, boy, you'll get a different response. Come visit, see your tenant in their current property. Brilliant. So I can see a tenant in their current property and that'll tell me how they're looking after the current property. Guess what? If their property is not in the right condition, guess what they're going to do to yours? Sam? Benefit tenants. All forms must be filled in before they get the keys for the property. Ask for a receipt from the council. Brilliant. So don't let a tenant go into your property if they're on benefits without getting the forms filled in. That's absolutely key. So, if you like the points I've talked about, Chris Vizakli, NGU, never give up.